What up guys, welcome back to 88-Bit Tech. I'm AJ and today we're going over some AliExpress options for internet and Bluetooth connectivity. We have a USB adapter, which is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capable. It's a max of 1300 megabits per second. And we also have a PCIe Express card slot that will plug into an X1, a PCIe X1 slot. And we're going to test the speeds on both of these to see which one's better. Both of these options are roughly the same price, uh, coming in at around $10 USD, taxes and delivery included, for the USB adapter as well as the PCIe adapter. Both extremely affordable options for adding Wi-Fi to your, uh, to your PC if it's not included. All right, let's get the test started. All right, I've got the PCIe Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter plugged into my PCIe X1 slot on my motherboard. You do also need to plug in a cable from the Wi-Fi PCIe adapter to a USB header on your motherboard in order to enable Bluetooth, which I have done. I've also got the antennas installed on the back here and ready to go. Um, I had to go to the FenV website in order to get it working properly. Uh, initially, it didn't work out of the box; it wouldn't connect. But eventually, I guess it Windows or Windows tried to install it automatically, but for some reason, it still wouldn't work. So I had to do a restart. But when I restarted it, it wouldn't restart. So I had to do a force restart. Uh, and on the force restart, when it started up, it, the it was just working. So I guess it worked on its own but I still wanted to get the drivers manually from the FenV website so the both the USB adapter and the PCIe uh, X adapter for Wi-Fi uh, and Bluetooth are from FenV so I just went to FenV.com I found the model the FVAC 1200 this one just here uh, and installed the the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth drivers to make sure that it's working properly. It was, I mean, it was already working, but hopefully this is working better now. So the first test we're going to do here is the internet speed test. And I am going to be capped here on this test. I won't be able to text, test the max speeds. So according to the listing, the Wi-Fi speeds on here for 5 gigahertz, which we are on, I'll show you. 5G there is 867 megabits per second speeds, which I unfortunately my internet is only at 50 megabits per second. So yeah, that's all we're gonna see for that. Bit of a different style video here. It looks like it's kind of dark, but I think it'll be all right. There we go, 52.6 megabits per second for the download and the upload we are getting 15.1 so it works and I don't have to I mean it's still you still have huge antennas sticking out at the back of your computer so I don't know if it's better than just having a USB dongle like uh, like that one um, but it works if you have a free PCI Express slot available that's an X1 lane you can go ahead and stick this in there and it'll and it'll work. We'll do this test three times just to see if it's consistent. 52.4 for this one. Upload speeds are a little less. Let's go one more time. See the next one's back up to close to 50. Yep, 50 there. So it works. Not much else to say. This is a, for $10. This is a really easy solution to add Wi-Fi to your PC if you're building one. Honestly, 10 US dollars is hard to beat. Now let's check the other Wi-Fi. I don't even have, I can actually just plug this straight in. I think with Windows 10, these, so these both came with installation CDs, but I mean, who the heck has a, a CD drive in their computer these days? Windows 10 automatically installs the drivers. If you have something older than Windows 10, you do need to use the CD to install it or go to the website uh, and download it on a different system with a USB thumb drive so you can install it from the USB. And yep, cool. So this one's automatically installing. This is a bit of an easier installation process than my than the PCI card. It was just a little bit annoying. This one's just up and running, just like that. Oh, maybe not. 
Looks like it needs a restart to finish. PC needs to be restarted before. Okay. So we'll go ahead and restart and we'll be back. Okay, guys, and we're back. We are setting this to Wi Fi 2 and we are connected via the. Um, by this guy, the USB adapter. So this one's actually faster. It's 1300 megabits per second, and it has Bluetooth 4.2. The PCI Express card was only 4.0. So we're gonna go ahead and run a, uh, the internet speed test on this one here. Let's see what we get with it. Okay, and it looks like that first one got 48.2 on the download, 15.4 on the upload. Let's test it again. Just as a reminder, both of these are rated for higher speeds. So this one, 867 megabits per second on the five gigahertz bandwidth versus on this one, oh, it's the same. Oh, okay, so the main difference is so on the five gigahertz bandwidth, the, the speeds are the exact same, but where it differs is if it's only on a, if you're using 2.4 gigahertz, you do get a hundred more megabits per second on the USB versus the PCIe. So that second test, we did get a higher, uh, a higher megabit per second download, seven millisecond latency, seven megabit per second upload. Let's test it again. 52.4 megabits per second download there, seven millisecond latency, 14.4 megabits per second upload. Okay, so that's with the USB. Let's go switch it back to Wi Fi 1, connected and secure. Okay. So uh, we're back to the PCI Express card. We're going to run an internet speed test for this one again and see where this comes out to. 48.7, 7 millisecond, 52.4 on that one. So it looks like most of these values are all within margin of error. Both of these just work. You're going to get the, the max speed of your internet if you're at, at least you're, if you're at 50 megabits per second. I can't test the upper end. I just don't have, my internet's not fast enough here. If you're around this speed for your internet, you're golden. It's going to work. Next thing we're going to test is Bluetooth. So for this one, I am going to unplug the, the USB Wi-Fi. Okay. It seems like the PCI Express card is really having some issues because the Bluetooth is gone on it. And the internet doesn't seem to be working again. Just disconnected. Gonna have to restart the computer and I'll be back. All right, guys, and we're back. Uh, I restarted the computer and the PCI Express card worked uh, right off the start there. So the Wi Fi is back on and the Bluetooth is back on. So I don't know, maybe it's just the computer got confused with having multiple sources of uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi plugged in. So after I unplugged the USB, it just didn't work for some reason. But it's working now. And I just ran this test just because I forgot to check the latency. So we're at 7 millisecond latency, 52.4, 13.3. We are now going to test the Bluetooth functionality by using this guy. Got an Xbox Series XS controller, and I'm gonna play a game where it really matters. All right, guys, so I'm back, and as you can see, my clothes have changed. My original videos were unfortunately unusable, so I have to do, I have to retest again. I am testing the Bluetooth connectivity. I'm using an Xbox Series oh, XS controller, playing oh, Try Again. It's a platformer, so input lag really matters. Uh, I'm gonna see if I have, if I can perceive any lag on the controls for this game, as well as whether or not the the Bluetooth connection on the USB Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth dongle is uh, stable or not. So let's go ahead and get started. With platformers, it's definitely crucial that the timing is correct, or else you're just gonna just mess up a lot. So. Figures a good way to test it. Checkpoint system implemented.
Hey guys, it seems pretty consistent and solid connection. I haven't had any issues yet, and I don't perceive any lag when it comes to the Bluetooth connection on this controller. So I think it's a solid win. Let's go switch over to the PCIe Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter. We're now hooked up or connected to the Bluetooth via the PCI Express adapter card. Uh, we'll try again and testing the same stuff. Input lag and see if we have a solid connection. I just hope it works. It's gotta be perfect. Alright guys, so much like the, f the USB Wi-Fi Bluetooth dongle, everything seems to be perfect. So it's a solid connection on regardless of whatever one you're using. Alright guys, so with those two options, you, you honestly, I, I don't think you can go wrong with either of them. I do think that the USB USB Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter is easier to set up, is plug in and play, at least on Windows 10 and above. But the Fenvi PCI Express Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter is a bit harder to set up uh, and a little bit more finicky. You, you definitely need to download the drivers or use the, the included CD to install the drivers on that one. It was a little weird because I'm running an AMD computer and the drivers that are on Fenvi's website were Intel, and I installed them, and they and it and it it worked, but obviously it wasn't the smoothest experience. They're both about ten U.S. dollars delivery and taxes included, and the real main difference is that the PCI Express card is uh, Bluetooth 4.0, and the upload speed is 300 megabits per second, versus the USB. Wi-Fi Bluetooth dongle is US, is Bluetooth 4.2 and it has an upload speed of 400 megabits per second. The download speeds are equivalent on both. They're both 867 megabits per second, so you can go with either of them. If your your internet download speed is less than 867, you're probably this is probably a safe bet for you to add to your system. I would say that honestly, it's a bit of a waste of money to purchase a motherboard that has this built into it only because they're usually really expensive. You're better off just getting a board that has all the features you want minus the Wi-Fi, because first of all, it'll be cheaper, and you can pay $10 and you can add Wi-Fi via USB dongle or PCI Express slot. If you're interested in picking up any of these wireless options for your PC build, I've left some links down in the description below for the USB adapter as well as the PCIe adapter for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. They are affiliate links, so they will help me out and it's no extra cost to you, but they're down there if you want to check them out. And just another caveat, if you're worried about getting this off of AliExpress, one of the highest sold USB Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth dongles is this Fenvi adapter on Amazon US and you're paying it, it is a prime. If you have prime, it is uh, you can get it uh, in a day. So you do you are paying for faster delivery, but with before tax, you're paying twenty one dollars. So more than double the price of just getting it off of AliExpress. Yeah. So if you're buying this off of Amazon, just know that your whoever is selling it on Amazon is. Uh, making a two making a hundred percent profit off of you because they're probably getting it for ten bucks and then the for the the network card it's it's the same uh, the PCI Express card for the on the US site it's also around eighteen dollars so basically double the price as well and it's worse for it's a worst case for my Australian viewers if you if you get the dongle in Australia on the Australian website, you're paying forty Australian dollars, which is um, typically you can get it off of AliExpress for fifteen Australian dollars, with taxes and delivery included. So, just get it off of AliExpress. Have some patience and just get it off of AliExpress.
that's the end of the video guys thank you for tuning in if you do like the video please like the video it really does help out and if you want to follow for more uh, feel free to click on my face just over here or somewhere to subscribe and if you want to check out some more videos i've got these here for you thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers